Hey you guys, welcome to the Chalk Monster Boutique. It is, what is today, Tuesday night? Yes, yes, it is Tuesday night. Um, I have been working from home, as I know many of you have been, and I'm losing track of time already. Got my chalk and ears on. So if you've never seen me before, know my name is, my name is Kathy, and my sweet mama and I, DG, um, are the Chalk Monster Boutique. Um, you know, my sweet mama DG is retired, but she doesn't do social media, so you get me instead, because I love it. I love to chalk, I love social media, I love helping my sweet mama. Um, so that's the deal. And if you've never seen or heard of me or Chalk Couture before, Chalk Couture is a high-end DIY home decor company. And we make beautiful silkscreen transfers, beautiful chalk paste, and gorgeous colors inks, tools, and surfaces. Um, everything you need to make home decor, beautiful home decor um, yourself. So having said all that, let's get started. And you know, the first thing I like to do is to tell you about our giveaway. Um, there's a little bit of glare here. So this is our mini sample kit, okay? In this cute little bag comes a little transfer, a mini transfer. You also get a chalkable chip that is reusable and reversible. Tie it to a gift package, tie it to a bottle of wine. You get a packet of paste and you get a mini squeegee, okay? So you get all of that in your little mini sample kit. I sell these for $8. Um, that is retail cost. If you're in my VIP group, you know that's where all the specials and deals and um, discounts happen. So these are discounted in my VIP group, okay? If you're not in my VIP group, you want to be there. It is free to join. All you have to do is type hashtag VIP in the comments below, um, right here at the bottom, okay? Even if you're not catching me live, if you're watching the replay, that's okay too. Type VIP in the comments and I will send you a link, okay? And um, Get you hooked up it's free to join okay so if you want to win one of these tonight all you have to do two things share this video first of all second once you share type hashtag what is our transfer called tomorrow tonight it's called ready aim fire how about hashtag fire f-i-r-e hashtag fire okay because that is the ready aim fire is the name of our transfer tonight so share the video and then type Hashtag fire when we get 10 shares. Okay, so when you type hashtag fire I will write your name down on a piece of paper. Okay, it goes into the drawing when we get 10 shares I will do a drawing every 10 shares I do a drawing and someone will win this. Okay guaranteed 10 shares All right, let's go. Let's get to it um, As you guys are hopping in looks like we've got some good viewers tonight say hello let me know you're here, where you're from, and are you staying inside? Are you going out? How are you dealing with all of this craziness? I, I would love to hear that. Um, I'm here for you. Um, I should be here every night because um, I'm working from home. Um, so yeah, I'm here for you. Um, I'm here to bring a little humor and levity and... Um, some stress-free activities and chalking, whether it's for you, it's for your family, for your kids. I just want to bring a little joy and a little humor um, to you and whatever what is going on right now, okay? So if you're going through something, let me know. Let's chalk it out, all right? That's, what I, that's my motto these days. Let's just chalk it out, okay? So here's what we're making tonight. Um, again, a little bit of humor. I've got some really pretty... Um, just plain flower sack cloth towels, okay? Got these off of Amazon. I got two here. And this is the transfer we're going to do tonight. It says, ready, aim, fire. Remember to wash your hands. See what I mean? A little virus humor. I thought it would be perfect. Hello, Shannon. Shannon says she is inside. She's been washing her hands. Um, so much they feel like sandpaper. Oh no, Shannon, that's not good. But I know how you feel. You might have to get um, some antibacterial moisturizing soap. 
or some good lotion to put on afterwards. Yikes. Hey, Jenny. Jenny is first time watching. Jenny says chalk it out. I love it, Jenny. Let's chalk. Hold on. I... Okay. I thought I heard a car alarm outside. And I'm like, that's strange because my husband's not home. Hmm. Must not be his then because that wouldn't make sense if he's not home. All right. So Jenny says chalk it out. I love it, Jenny. Love it, love it, love it. Yes. And Jenny, I did message you um, about your order, the houses that you wanted. So let me know if you didn't get that and um, we will um, we'll figure it out. Okay. All right. So let's get started. I think I'm going to need to, um, hold on real quick. I'm going to, I need to plug my heat press in over here because I want to, I forgot to plug it in. I want to um, iron my, this is my heat press. I want to iron, just press. I don't really need to iron it. I just need to press the, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, let's plug it in over here. I want to press, press the wrinkles out of my towels before I ink on them, okay? All right, so I got that on. Turn it up a little bit. There we go. Have you guys ever tried our ink before? I chalk most of the time, but every now and then I love, 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 love to use our ink. Um, in a lot of ways, ink is easier. I'm gonna switch this to project view, okay. In a lot of ways, ink is easier than chalk um, because you don't have to work as quickly. So I like that about it. Um, however, ink is permanent, especially we're doing black tonight, right, on our towels. So um, chalk is forgiving, ink is not. So just Keep that, keep that in mind if you use ink. The ink is great for fabrics like these hand towels. It's great for um, like I made I made my kids and my husband. My husband was thrilled. Um, I made them. Oh, and we're gonna do a second project tonight. I got that sitting off. We're gonna prep a project for tonight. Yeah, so I made Christmas jammies this year. And um, my husband was thrilled. But they actually turned out really cute. They were with our, our Nutcracker transfer. And his said, um, his just said Nutcracker. I didn't do the whole thing. And the kids said, son of a Nutcracker. Again, a little chalk humor. You got to stay light, people. I'm telling you. Um, anyway, they turned out really cute. So if you wanted to make, I'm a little late for St. Patrick's Day, but you could make, you know, Easter shirts, um, Fourth of July, Christmas jammies. I made some really cute Valentine's Day ones. Yeah, super cute. All right, this hasn't beeped at me. But anyway, ink is good for anything that you want to make permanent. So it's great on fabrics like shirts or these towels that I'm doing tonight. It's also awesome on metal and ceramics. Like if you wanted to do coffee mugs, anything that you can heat set. And you would heat set fabric with an iron or a Cricut heat press like what I'm using. Or um, if you're doing like coffee mugs or ceramics or metal, you can heat set those in the oven. Okay, so I've got my, that's my little Apple watch, okay. So I've got my wrinkles out. And there it beeps at me. Good enough anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna take my ink mat and you definitely want to use some sort of ink mat with ink and fabric. If you don't use a chocolate ink mat, that is okay. I like ours 
because it's sticky. I mean, it's made specifically for this. It's sticky, right? So your fabric won't slip on it. Okay, just like this. Make sure don't um don't put your hot iron on this though. It'll melt your ink mat. But you definitely need an ink mat because if you don't, your um ink will bleed through your fabric onto the other side or onto your table or whatever is underneath. Okay. So don't do that. So Jenny, um, where are you from, girl? And what are you doing? Are you, um, how are you taking care of yourself these days? Are you staying inside? And tell me what you're doing to not panic and stay sane. Do you have any good advice for our viewers? Okay, so I like to write on the back, on the back of my transfer, so I know the front and the back when I put it back on. Because you guys, all of our transfers are washable and reusable. You just wash them with um, plain water and um, use a board eraser that we sell or soft sponge, Mr. Clean Eraser, soft cloth, okay? And, um, and lay them flat to dry Sticky side up. Okay, my phone is going crazy over here. I don't know why. Um, okay, so I'm just making sure I got it centered. And I thought these would be really cute to hang in my boys' bathroom. Since they say, ready, aim, fire, remember to wash your hands. I thought that would be cute. Let me pull this up. There you go. Now you can see it. Okay. I'll push this up a little bit further. You can see it better. My ink mat is just so... Um, does that help? No, that doesn't help. Maybe if I bring this closer. There we go. That helps a little bit. Okay. Let me see. I don't want to make sure I don't miss any comments. Okay. I'm back. Got it. Okay. So my transfer, you know, this was a brand new transfer. And a lot, most of the time, if I was going to do this like on a chalkboard surface, I would put it down on our fuzzing cloth, peel it up a couple times to get some fuzz on it so it's not so sticky. I don't need to do that with fabric. Okay. I want it to be... I want it to be sticky, okay? All right, now this is our ink. As I mentioned, ink is different than paste. So ink, it says ink, right? And has a white top. Paste, which you would use on a chalkboard or other surfaces, um, it's water soluble and it's removable, okay? So um, Shannon is saying, what kind of flower sack towels did you buy off Amazon? Um, I don't remember, Shannon. I will. Um, Shannon just messaged me and asked me what type of flower cloth towels. I don't remember, but as soon as I finish here, I'll go pull up my orders on Amazon and let you know. They were not expensive at all, and I think 12 came in a set. So, like, I did some. I did two for Christmas. I did two for Easter. Um, I po I think I posted the Easter ones on my page. I, they say Cottontail Farms on them, and they're so cute. Cute little bunny. Um, so I did some for Easter, I did some for Christmas, I did, there was a turkey one that was adorable that I did for Thanksgiving, it said like turkey grains or something on it. So cute. So I'll go back and look, Shannon, and um, I'll send you a screenshot of my order from Amazon so you can find them. And they, like I said, they weren't expensive, so I didn't feel bad if I messed up, you know what I mean? I am pretty good with ink, but you know what I usually do, you guys? I am really bad at getting it on my hands or my fingers and then getting it on 
like my towel. So we're going to try not to do that tonight. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate while I'm doing this. And you don't need a lot of ink, you can tell. Um, you almost never need to add water to ink. You know how you do sometimes with paste? Because it can get thick. You add distilled water to thin it out so it's the consistency of yogurt. You don't need to do that with ink. Almost never, because it is almost always the right consistency. All right, so if I'm missing any of your comments, you guys, I'm sorry. I will, when I'm finished, I always go back and check and make sure, especially if you have questions. I want to make sure I answer your questions. Okay. I'm just trying to be super careful over here on the edge and not get it outside the lines. You can see that all of the ink that I'm squeegeeing off goes right back into the jar. And you know with paste we have to work quickly or as my friend Mary Jo says Shannon, what does Mary Jo always say about chalking? Are you still on, Shannon? Do you remember what Mary Jo always says when we're chalking? You have to, what, work with? I'll give her a minute to respond. Oh, no, my computer just went off. Hold on. Hopefully my screen didn't go out. We'll see. Okay, so now that I've got my ink all squeegeed off, I take, just trying to, oops, see, I got ink on there. I always do that. See, I got a little spot right there. You guys will be more careful than me. So, um, I think I had it on my finger. I don't know if I'll be able to get that out, but that's okay. This is just going in my kids' room, um, their bathroom, and I don't even think you'll be able to see it. I might try once it's dry to use like a little Tide stain stick, but usually ink is ink. You're right. It's not going to come out. Oh, thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you love this, give me some hearts. Give me some wows. Give me some thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Isn't that cute? All right, what I'm going to do so that it doesn't smudge or smear is I've got my hair dryer right here. And you know how I love to dry stuff with my hair dryer, right? Okay, I'm gonna hit it with the hair dryer really quick because a lot of times it's still wet and I'll pick it up and that's where I make mistakes too. And you guys, these inks come in all different colors, tons of colors. I just thought black would be perfect on this white for their, for their bathroom. So once this is dry, and I usually like to give it, like I'll blow dry it, but then I usually like to give it about 24 hours before I heat press it, okay? And it's a good idea to lay down um, some parchment paper if you have it and in between your iron or your heat press and your ink, okay? And once you heat seal it, it is, it's permanent, okay? All right, there we go. So this one is done. How cute and quick and easy was that? I'm telling you. Let's see if I can fold it quickly and easily just to show you what it's going to look like when I hang it up. And then we're going to do the second one. And then I will show you, we're going to prep our project for tomorrow night. And I'll show you why we need to prep it in advance. It's a, it's a cute one. It's an oldie, or, oldie but a goodie. Okay. So isn't that cute? And I could even fold it in a little bit more if I wanted to. 
right? Okay. And I could I could have moved it up too. I kind of like it um, down below because what I might want to do, like I could fold it again, like this. Like if you wanted to hang it, make it shorter or hang it on a towel bar, then you've got this, which I think is so adorable. Ready, aim, fire, remember to wash your hands. So appropriate for right now, right? So I could iron it just like this and it would stay or I could fold it better and um, iron it, put a crease in it like that and it would stay. All right, so let's put this one over here. Like I said, we're going to let it dry for 24 hours, and then, um, then we'll heat set it. Okay, so let's do this one. So remember, you have to iron out the creases first. You guys have any tips for staying sane during this crazy time? Um, one idea I've heard, which I think is actually a good one, is um, starting your own business. So if you think this is so much fun, you're right. And this would be a great time to start a side hustle, like Chaka Tour, um, in case you're worried about, you know, your job, your spouse's job, whatever. You just want a little bit more financial security. You want to work from home and be your own boss. This is a great time to do that. I've had um, several people reach out to me um, because of what's going on right now. And um, they're thinking about it. They've been thinking about it for a while, but now think that it's a particularly good time, which I agree. So if you're thinking about it, um, this is the designer kit, our spring designer kit. Um, it's only $99. It's all it takes to get started. And it comes with everything you, everything you see there. So um, over $240 worth of product. It's everything you need to get started. And um, yeah, so if you're thinking about it and you want to join or we just want some more information, I have um, I have an opportunity group. Um, it's invitation only, but I can send you the link and um, send you the invitation. You can watch a video and get even more information. But it has five jars of paste, seven transfers, um, three surfaces, a catalog, an apron, a designer startup guide, and 12 thank you notes. Like I said, everything you need to get started. And it's only $99. I want to see this one to see. I want to kind of like make sure it's um, at the same like place. Okay, so it's in the middle of that crease. And then I'm going to pull this up. All right, so you guys can see it. Just lining it up. Again, it doesn't have to be super precise or exact. With towels, you can just you can press them, put creases in them, however you want them, however you want them to lay out, right? This is good. Just making sure it's stuck down really well. And I don't have any pieces. I'm trying to make sure I don't have any ink on my hands either. Shannon says, my son is watching you on YouTube. Oh, that's awesome. Andrew, right? Andrew is his name. If 
I remember correctly. That's awesome. Yes, I also have a YouTube channel. Hi, Andrew. Thanks for watching, Andrew. Hey, Andrew, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. And Andrew, I have a contest every month for new YouTube subscribers. So anyone watching, I would love it if you would go to my YouTube channel. It is called Chalk Monster Boutique. Look me up and subscribe. That would be awesome. Andrew, if you would do that, I would be so grateful. And then you need, you gotta set up your mom's YouTube channel. Okay, get her set up on YouTube. That should be like your project for the week. And then Shannon, um, you know, we were talking about Manny Cam last night. Once you got your channel set up and your Facebook business page, you can go live. Shannon's a designer on my team, you guys, if you hadn't figured that out. She's awesome. Um, once you've got your YouTube channel set up, then you um, get Manny Cam set up, and you can go live on your business page and on Manny Cam at the same time. It's a beautiful thing. So thank you, Andrew. Okay, so this is the second towel. Got all my ink. On the transfer, I'm trying really hard to not go outside the lines on the towel. Is anyone binge watching anything good right now since you've been home? Like especially if you've seen anything good on Disney Plus. I need, I need some new stuff. I need some new material. If anyone has any recommendations. <laughs> My son is so excited about all of this. That is awesome, Shannon. I, he can, I'm sure Andrew can help you a ton. So, okay, see, I did this one better. I didn't stick my finger in it. And you guys, this it just washes off with water, okay? So I'll do that after we get off. Yeah, Shannon, I bet, I bet Andrew can help you immensely. As tech savvy as he is, he'll have you an, an internet sensation in no time. I bet. Okay, so I'm just drying this really quick so when I pick it up, I don't smear it or smudge it. And then we're gonna prep, um, we're gonna prep our project for tomorrow night. I was just looking at it, and we may not be able to prep all of it in one night. I'll show you why. Okay. We've got our towels drying over here. And we will press these, heat press them tomorrow. Like I said, I like to give them 24 hours to dry. Put our ink mat away. Okay, so our project for tomorrow night, um, I don't think we're going to be able to do all, I definitely can't do it all in one night. So have you heard, have you seen the book stacks that were really popular, um, well, I don't know, maybe about six months ago? Well, I did not jump on the bandwagon, but now I just had this idea today about doing book stacks. So I thought I would try it, okay? So this is chalk paint. Um, 
it's like home, what's it called? Home Decor by Folk Art Chalk Paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint these three books with this chalk paint. And then we'll let it dry. And the reason why I don't know that we can finish this tomorrow, I think we're gonna need a couple of settings because I can't paint all sides of the book at once. So I need to paint like the cover and the spine tonight. And then we'll do the back tomorrow night. And then Thursday night, I don't know if it'll be Thursday night. I have to figure it out. Anyway, the third night, then um, I've got some different transfers like welcome, hello, gather. I haven't decided if I'm gonna chalk, I think I'm gonna chalk the spines, not the covers. You know what I mean? Um, the reason I was hesitating on Thursday night, you can see I'm doing this side of it too. Shannon, you've never seen these? Um, I can send you some photos of them. Like I said, they were all the rage with Chalk Couture designers about six weeks ago. And I just never jumped on the bandwagon because I didn't have any books. And I like the best place to go get them is just like a garage sale, right? Or, I mean, you don't even want to go to a used bookstore. I wouldn't say like, like a yard sale. Just go get some old books, hardcover, of course. And then this is actually a journal, I think. Um, a journal that I never used. So anyway, you find some old books, not the classics. I wouldn't want to ruin, I wouldn't want to ruin like an important book, right? Journals would be good for this. Okay, and then you paint them. I'm not doing a very good job holding up to the camera here. So anyway, you paint them with chalk paint and then you take some transfers and you can either chalk the covers or the backs or the spines. But they look really cute if you do the spines. Like we have we have a transfer that says like welcome, hello, and gather, and it fits, the words fit perfectly on book spines. So I don't know if I'm gonna do those or if I'm gonna do some others. I haven't decided which transfers I'm gonna do yet. Okay, so here's our first one. And I'm just gonna lay it down carefully right there. And I'm also going to wipe up my, because this chalk paint, our chalk paste is removable and water soluble. This stuff is not. So I'm wiping it up as I go so it doesn't stain, okay? All right, so there's that one. I'm just gonna do two more. Yeah, so I never jumped on the bandwagon when this was so popular because I didn't have any books. And I, um, I just didn't take the time to go to a yard sale or a garage sale and find any. And then by the time I found these, like it was kind of like people weren't doing it anymore. But I saw these tonight and I was like, oh, I haven't done them yet. So I was like, well, our ink towels won't take very long. So let's do this. Because again, this is gonna be a multi, multi-night project because we need to we need to chalk paint the other side, right? Um, and then the transfer, the chalking the transfer on the cover of the spine will be last. So yeah, I was saying I may not 
be able to chalk um, come to you live Thursday night. We'll see. Um, my son is turning 18 on Thursday. I cannot believe it. And um, I don't know what we're going to do. He is at the beach um, with some friends. <laughs> right there, right now. Sometimes you don't have hands and you just have to you stick your paintbrush in your mouth, right? All right, so he's at the beach, New Smyrna, because the beaches have not closed. Thank goodness. I think it's like the only thing in the world right now that is not closed. So he's at the beach because it's spring break with his friends. Um, but he turns 18 on Thursday. So I think my husband and I will go over to the beach and hopefully he'll have dinner with us. But no guarantee. So that's why I'm not just I'm not sure. I probably won't be here. I won't be talking with you live on Thursday night because of that. But that's okay. I will be back. Whether it's Thursday night or Friday night or Saturday night. We will figure it out. And then a friend of mine is having a workshop on Sunday. We are inking some wine glasses and some pillows. So that would be fun. She's just having a little small gathering. So we're not putting anybody at risk. So speaking of that, I am doing, I'm not doing any large um, workshops, but I am doing me and three or you and two. So you and two guests or you and three guests, like, you know, no more than five or six people. If you want to get some friends together, um, talking would be a really good activity to release some stress right now, right? Chalk it out. You just chalk it out. And um, if you want to do something virtual, like on Facebook, we can do that too. Those, um, those parties are really fun. I've done them quite a few times and they're awesome. And everyone can just do it from their own home right now, right? Because they're afraid to get out. Okay. So, I think I'm just going to lay this like that. And see, I got it on me again. All right, those are our three books. Black, black chalk paste, and then... Tomorrow night we're gonna do, we'll do another chuck project, but then we'll also paint the back. And this one needs a little bit more here. We'll also paint the back. Okay. I'm to turn this off. And then step three. There we go. Step three will be to use our chalk paste with our transfers either on the cover or the spine or both. I'll show you what I mean. All right, you guys, um, if you love this and you are not ready to become a designer but you want more, this is Club Couture. It's our monthly subscription service and it is only $19.99 a month. And this is our transfer for March. You can add this on when you join. $19.99 a month, you get an 8.5 by 11 inch size transfer, three packets of paste delivered straight to your door, free shipping, all right? And this month, if you are a club member, you get to participate in the store and adore promotion. 25% off, chalk, chalk paste storage, transfer totes, or the little toolkit, all right? And if you join my Club Couture, I also give you um, some bonuses and some freebies for joining. So be in my VIP group, hashtag VIP. I'll send you the link. Um, and if you're interested in joining Club Couture, type hashtag club, and I'll send you the info. And then finally, we are having a sale this month. It's called Transfer Palooza. You buy three transfers, and your fourth one is free. How about that? Pretty amazing, right? 
So you can buy these on my website and my shop. It is www.chopcouture.com slash chalkmonsterboutique. Okay? www.chalkcouture.com slash chalkmonsterboutique. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining tonight. I'm going to get all this cleaned up, and I'll be back tomorrow night with another fun project, and we'll do part two of our chalk books, okay? All right. You guys be safe. Stay sane. Stay confident. Stay calm. And stay caffeinated, okay? All right. Don't go crazy on me. And join me back here tomorrow night, and we will do something fun to take the stress off. All right? I promise. All right. See you guys. Have the 